All right. How are we looking? There was some kind of Streamlabs update. I have no idea what was going on. But thanks to EW and the Creator Weekend, we get to take a little look at Quattro Kalinas here a few days before release. So I've got the release date in the top left. Uh, hopefully, so I don't answer that a million times. And as I was sitting here, a herd of Mouflon just, like, scooted right by me. I don't know where they went. But we're gonna go take a look. I also have the new gun, the uh, 6.5. This one's very pretty. Haven't shot anything yet. I literally got the picture for the thumbnail, and that's been it. I'm guessing the vid's about the new map, but that would be accurate, yeah. Hello. Okay, so these are the Mouflon. I think they're going to be my favorite species, to be honest. Why do I not have zero? I forgot to activate it. Let's do that. Yeet. Okay. And that's the one I want. I don't know if you can call these maybe with the antler rattler. I haven't looked into that too much. But maybe we'll... Oh, that sounded good. Oh, I like it. Hello? Who's here? I hear a friend. No? I'm sure I heard something. Okay, that was a little bit odd. Uh, things, of course, are still not released, so potentially subject to change, whatever that was. Hey, Rachel. 6.5 or Mosin is better. I hope to find that out during the course of this stream. We're going to try to take a look at everything. Uh, try to steal the species. Try to look at the map. As I understand it, the mountains are probably a good place to be, so... We shall be there a lot. I don't know. This might be a map where drink zones are less important. Like I said, we'll find out. But there's 13 Mouflon in this little herd. So apparently that's going to be a thing. Nice curly looking boy. So that's an 809 at 52 kilos. I'm trying to uh, figure out the weights. Now these have true racks, which is interesting. I don't know if like... We have horn length, overall spread, circumference of the base, circumference of the first third and second third. So there's a a good bit of potential variance in there. I don't have a ton of money, so I'm not going to taxonomize everything. But we will hopefully get some stuff. And I'll probably smoke another one of them, because why not? That gun sounds so good. I think I missed his lungs, though. Oops. What are you doing? Other than being stuck. Holy Sancho's back. What's up, man? All the above's here. All the peoples. What's the map called? It's called Cuatro Colinas, which I believe means four hills in Spanish. And it might be four mountains. I'm not sure. Uh, but there's like four different mountain areas. All I've done on this map is go around and get outposts. I've just driven around and shoot the shot the one goat. But uh, I think these four mountains are probably something to do with the ibex species. I don't know uh, for sure, but that seems to make sense. Now the other thing is, there was. Some Ibex back here. That's what I took a picture of for the thumbnail. They were chilling over here. So I want to see if I can find them. Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, hunting. That's my guess. New gun sounds nutty. I really like it. That was my first time hearing it as well. Am a fan. It sounded really good. Hunting right now, so if I miss a chance of one, it's your fault. Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> I passed on a... My brother thought it was a six point. That's what we're looking for. That's a warning call. Interesting. Anyway, it went past my brother and me. He thought it was a six. I thought it was a five. Either way, was an ethical boy. Not ethical boy. Legal boy. But he was small. Uh, how many species are on this map? There's ten total. I don't even know if I can name them all. There's four different types of Ibex. Uh, there's Southeastern, Besiet, or however you say it. I guess I could just be smart and go to this. 
If I can ever get there. Grados and Rowan are the other two. And then there's Mouflon, Wolves, and European Hare. Roe Deer, Red Deer, and Wild Boar, I believe, are the repeat species. So there's actually a lot of stuff to hunt. I'm not even sure if we'll get to see one of everything in this stream. I'm in a limo on the way to the airport to go to Australia. There you go. Sounds like a pretty good ride. So there's a Ibex drinking. Okay. Good to know. They drink 8 to 11.30. So they are a different species of Ibex. Just playing off other... Uh, past experiences, I would kind of think maybe all all four species drink in that time frame, which might be good. That's a big looking fella. That's a three? How big do these get? If that guy's only a three, I don't know what we're going to be looking at for diamond. Hey, TK. The man himself is here. Maybe he can help out with answering things. I know he helped me out quite a lot trying try to get this working. Had all the problems. Wait. Alright. We'll let that one go. These are some big males, though. I don't know what they're... Oh, that was them fleeing. Oh, the wind's bad, too. Didn't even notice. Uh, Nicholas Green Outdoors. Thanks for the super chat, man. I have it on PS4 and would love to play. Hey. Uh, it should be out on all platforms on the 10th, so not too long to wait. Hello there. Is there like a four? I must, they must get to five. But all these huge ones are level three, so. All right, then. Maybe we'll try to smoke one of them out there. That's the biggest looking one. He wants to slow down at all. I kind of like that they're running that far because Ibex, at least the ones I'm aware of in the real lives, would run very far. Taking that quick shot while he's going to be broadside for a moment. Oh, the reloading sound even. It's so good. The fives are huge. All right, I will uh, be on the lookout for one that makes me uh, react in such a way. There's another three. There's a four. So, oh my god. There's a ton of them. And there's a white one. Is that a thing? Okay. Uh, let's not go rushing shots. They're drinking. They're gonna be drinking a while. Hey. It's not, it's not ruin things. Um, you want me to join chat for five minutes? Yeah, I can hop in Discord if you got time. I'll go, um, well, you know where I'll be. Give me un momento to tab out. Uh, do you have to get this map to get the 6.5 Creed more? I believe those are in the same DLC, yes. Can you even see? Okay. Just go here. Hey. Bring this. Yeet, sorry about the lag. We should be good. Where is this thick male up here? Albino, it might have been. I don't know. I know there's some fur variations. I keep hearing that. Are those just rocks falling? Because it sounds like there ought to be a goat here. But there ain't. Oh, there is. Uh huh. Oh, really? Alright, let me turn you up real quick before we do anything else. That sounds interesting. So, I mean, if you guys start to see too many, maybe there is something weird again, but I have literally asked. Uh, three times to check all the beers and stuff, and they promised me that it's it's all good, it's all Gucci. 
Sweet. There are, but there are a lot, as you've seen, of Ivex, so maybe that, that, that kind of is a factor too. Yeah, more that makes sense. More chance, etc. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. Hey. You had some. No, wait. Yeah, they, they get to five. So all the Ibex and the Mufflon get to level five uh, difficulty. And, like, if you've ever seen those big ape hangers on the Harley Davidson, and uh -huh. you see an Ibex that looks like that, then you probably know it's a five. Uh, right? That's that's yeah. good advice. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> So how yes. much of this uh, how much of this have you gotten to see as you've been doing your so job? I've, so <laughs> I've seen all four mountains. Okay. Uh, which is pretty cool, and because each each mountain's like slightly different. Like you're in the you're probably my favorite. I think I like this is like the bear barren kind of high alpine look, and then there's a couple that are like really thick with low scrub, and then there's one that's a bit more foresty and stuff like that too. So. Um, they're, they're quite subtle changes, but once you get into them, you're like, oh yeah, it's, it does feel a bit different in here, you know? Yeah, so, that's good though. The more like diversity yeah. on one map you can kind of get, I think that's a good thing. Exactly, and you see those steep cliffs here right now, like the, I, I shot up a whole mob running up that hill today. It was great fun. <laughs> they are really good fun because they like traverse up there like, no, you know, no worries at all basically. Kind of like classic where they'll climb the steep cliffs? Oh, exactly, exactly, yeah, that's it. Like, uh, you kind of wish you were an... I mean, just like Classic 2, you're going to have to, like, try and plan your shooting because I couldn't mm. retrieve I couldn't retrieve some of my Ibex, sadly. Yeah, but, uh, I can see how that would be an issue. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's all good. So. And yeah, but it's a pretty exciting weekend ahead, I think, and I'm looking forward to watching everybody stream and see everyone's opinions and things on the map. So. I can't sure. wait to see some of the screenshots that come out of this. Yeah, it'll be pretty beautiful. It'll be beautiful. And just to let everyone know too, because there's a lot of people in here, there is a trailer coming for it. It's just uh, getting some final tweaks and stuff. Ooh. It, hits, it hits me in the feels like all the other trailers do. Looking, <laughs> looking nice, so keep an eye out for that. Sweet. Yeah. But um, before I take off, anyone got any other questions? You got any more questions, Linter? Or? I saw one uh, if to ask if there's piebald mouflon. I don't know if you'll know the answer to that even. Oh, I actually don't know. You know what? I like this is the honest truth. That I like playing the game, and there's, so there's certain stuff I don't ask because I like to be surprised by it, right? Yeah. So um, I mean, I know there's like LB knows it's it's a pretty given with most species in the game, but the the kind of more specialty rares, I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's melanistic. I don't know if it's piebald. Um, you know, hopefully someone gets something. My aim, because I want to try it this weekend too, is I'm going to try and get a diamond mouflon. I think that's my that's going to be my bread and butter. That is. I think that's what I want as well. Yeah, it'll be. I think it'll just be something amazing about like a whole lodge full of horns and horns and uh, horns and horns and horns. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Uh, how much is it? It's going to be seven ninety nine, depending uh, which uh, country you're in. It's, it's pretty much standard price. So, look at the uh, the other uh, reserves, and you can base your base your budget off that, basically. Pretty pretty good bargain for ten species on one map, I'd say. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And um, I think this is the biggest species. Well, the, the largest species list I think we've released yet. I think so. I haven't, I haven't actually done the calculations, but uh, yeah, let me see. Uh, any more? What about the pricing for the? Oh, we just did that. Uh, uh, what animal has integrity for the new gun? So it's a level two gun, Sam Moose. Great name, by the way. Uh, and so it's, I think it's fairly comparable to the Solikin or the Mossin, whatever you want to call it, uh, in terms of performance. And I just have a feeling it's a little bit better out to kind of further ranges. But I like, I'm going to be doing a lot of testing on it myself too. I, I haven't pushed it to its limits and things yet, so that'd be pretty awesome. I really like it. The sound of it's incredible. It is. You got the same color I like too. Yeah. <laughs> got a good. seventy accuracy stat. That's pretty dang good for the the range shots. Yeah, exactly. That's really really good. So, um, the yeah the ibex are um, hey. yeah they'll require like a little bit of I, I guess like tweaking the play, the your shot placement. I reckon is the best way to do it. Uh. Um, so just yeah, like give us your feedback on it over the weekend, and we'll see what what you think about the organs and stuff in them but uh 
They're, um, I, I like them, but they're a little bit different, I reckon. So, yeah, maybe you see what I mean. <laughs> I noticed that on the one I shot, I feel like I hit, uh, like I shot through the shoulder and the lungs are a bit behind the shoulder. Yep, mate, you pretty much nailed it already. That, that was kind of my original feedback too. So the team are aware of this, but we thought we'd like just see what other people's opinions were because it was a little bit like, eh, maybe they are, maybe they're not, but there seems to be kind of a little bit of a gap around the front of the lungs, I suppose, where it, it, I think it should be a little bit more forward into the rib cage on them. So Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking from it. I didn't realize I was looking at a mouflon there earlier, unless there's two albinos up here. <laughs> This is when, like, I just, you know, after just telling you that the spawn rate's fine, it's actually not. <laughs> <laughs> I think now I also see. shot it in the vertebrae. Uh, I haven't gone up to that part yet. I'm going to just chill for the shot, and then I'm going to take off, I think. Unless, unless there's good. anything else you want to know. Last chance to chuck some questions in the chat. Uh, aggressive behavior besides wolves? I would think wolves are the only ones, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but like I have, uh, I got head butted off a cliff accidentally by an Irish guy, <laughs> and I, I just about wet myself laughing. So, yeah, they're just like, uh, was in a multiplayer game testing, and someone else had spooked them towards me, and they just yeeted me down the cliff. It was hilarious. I don't think I could, I don't think I could reproduce it if I tried, but it was pretty damn funny. That so, sounds incredible. Yeah, it was, it was basically like the, the intro to the uh, True Rex. Oh, yeah. Did, except, <laughs> except I was on top of a cliff. So, yeah, it's good, it's good. So, I'm noticing this thing. I can yeah. hear, it sounds like there's a goat right on me. I don't know if it's oh, a really? sound, yeah. There is, like, a, a goat that seems to be stuck up on the mountain. I wonder if the sound is just playing from really far away. I'm going to refresh the stream because I'm quite far behind, actually. So, I'll just see. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even remember the bighorn sheep, and well, obviously doing classic. Like, you can hear the footprints a little bit further away on these. Yeah. But, you know, maybe, again, there's some little bit of tweaking or something needs, needs to happen there, too, so. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I mean, this is the, the whole thing is, like, you know, we've set it out for uh, viewing, for public viewing, I suppose, on a larger scale than just the, the streams that we usually do. And so, as per usual, we, we value all the feedback that comes in. So, that goes for just, you know, all, everyone watching and stuff, too. Like, please... Uh, leave comments in the social media channels. Let us know what you think about it all. Stuff like that, so. Yee. 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 Alright, well, um, happy shoesting. Alright, thank you, man. And, and good luck, and uh, hopefully you get your diamond mouflon on as well. <laughs> I'm certainly going to try. I appreciate it. Alright, catch you guys. Later. Right. Okay, I don't know where this mouflon went, but uh, I will find it. I know it ran up this way. I don't see any blood back there in the um, the zone. Almost bought that rifle. It's a it's a real nice rifle. I like it. Am I gonna have to like bring quad up here? Who's in the background? That was TK. He's the community manager of the game, so he knows all the stuff. This mouflon seems to be a bit confused, but found the one. Is this albino? It is. Look at that face! <laughs> and I did, I shot it right in the vertebrae. I don't know why I got that loading cursor. That makes me nervous. Taxidermize that before before things break. Now, I thought I was looking at a herd of Ibex. So, maybe there's more to be discovered up here? It's looking like 110 is the max, so probably in the area of 105 for diamond. A red deer true rack. I believe, did they say somewhere that they're not going to be true rack because they wanted to uh, try to perfect them a little more because it's a more complex system? I think they said that. Maybe I just was looking at Mouflon the whole time. I ain't going to complain. I like him. So this gun feels heavy. The 6.5 feels heavier than the Mosin did. Or does. And they seem to do that a lot. Kind of just hang up on the cliffs. Aaron, I'm so confused because your picture color changed and it's messing with me. Just looks like a sheared sheep. I mean, that's basically what it is without horns. 
That was so cool. <laughs> it looked just like in real life you see somebody smoke a, a sheep or something off a cliff the way it fell down. That was real cool. Hey, hit F1 before I forget. Thanks for uh, hitting that join button again. Appreciate it. I know you uh, you know the drill, but still, thank you, man. First impressions, I'm loving it. There's a little bit of this that's happening. Animals kind of hanging up on cliffs, which is probably to be expected when you're dealing with, like, what should I call it? Uh, extreme terrain, kind of. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Are you albino too? <laughs> that's the slowest I've ever been run over in my life. So, that's a silver. The old-fashioned way I got an achievement. So what's going on here? Are you albino? Either that's really dumb luck, or maybe female Mouflon like to be albino. I'm going to just save that one. Uh, I saved an Ibex, so pretty good on that. I do want to hang back and see, because I'm nearly certain I was looking at a bunch of Ibex. The flop. Yeah, I liked it. I don't know if that was an animation or just the way that it sort of ragdolled off of the uh, the bit of the ledge it was on, but that looked really good. Is the map out for Xbox? It's not even out for PC. It's going to be released on all platforms December 10th. That is Tuesday, I believe. So we're really close. It's uh, very much nearing release. And other than them not seeming to know exactly how to interact with the cliffs, so far it looks good. Now, I'm interested because of the drink time. I've not paid too much attention to the map. If you weren't here earlier, basically all I did was earlier I got on the ATV and I drove around and unlocked outposts pretty much just to make the stream hopefully a little more enjoyable and not just a bunch of running to get to places. But I don't know uh, like if there are lakes near every mountain because if so, hunting Ibex is probably going to be easier than expected. But anyway, we've gotten a good look at these. Um, I don't think I have an outpost. Yeah, I have this one down here and there's a lake... There's a bunch of lakes. Well, let's give it a shot. I know it's like 8 a.m. for the other Ibex. Hey, Aaron. Please no Yukon Rares again. TK just said they, they like triple checked it or something. I mean, it absolutely could be dumb luck. There are new hit animations, also new struggle animations, which might troll some people. The, anim the animals will fall down and then get up again. That's cool. I like that. I can go back another hour. Eat. That's that's a really good thing, in my opinion. Some of the uh, the current animations are a little stale. I think that's big plus. Which one of those came up first? Curry to Boss Beast. Thank you, man. So is this like a pre-release like Yukon was? Yeah, there's a content creator weekend. So I know myself, Zaggy, a bunch of other guys. Nah. In not just like the hunter community, there's there's people that are you know, not necessarily thought of first for their affiliation with the Hunter. They're going to be having it as well, as far as I know, so it's good stuff. At least that was the case with the Yukon. Um, Graham, thank you as well. Instantly got off Farming Sim 19 to see the stream. Looks good. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite a fan of what I'm seeing. I don't know much about Spain. I really don't. But as far as the terrain goes, like, forget that it's Spain. It just looks really cool to me. This kind of thing... It seems difficult to hunt, and I just remembered. I drove through one of these earlier in Spooked Rabbits, so let's keep the 22 ready. Uh, PA Farmer, thanks for the super chat, man. How's rifle season? It's been all right. I haven't seen any shooter bucks. I passed a... It was a legal buck, but not a, not a big enough one for me to want to take it this morning. Thinking the female rate could be wrong? Eh, it could be. I don't know if those were two in the same herd or what. And again, it could be really dumb luck, but I'll pay attention to it. Uh, keep on trying to hunt them, and if that's the case, can try to get you some feedback. Are we getting an updated spreadsheet soon? Um, I don't actually, I don't do anything with the spreadsheet, but I imagine the people that do it will be updating it, yeah.
Do you guys know how big goats get? The only thing that I know so far from the Besied Ibex, or however it's pronounced, they are maxing at 110 kilos. So somewhere in the area of 105 is probably a diamond track. Actually, that's something people might want to know. Zag tactics do in fact still work. I'm using them right now because I had to spec all my skills and stuff. So that's a boar track. I did notice as well as I was driving around, I saw quite a lot of wild boar. Maybe because they're a slow moving animal and they're the only ones I could see. But I found that to be interesting. I, my dad saw him later that day and that one did not get shot. The one I saw today was very similar, but not the same deer. Hey Jeffrey, how's it going, man? Did I hear PA is planning to eliminate the antler restrictions? I don't know that they're planning on it, but they've considered it. I know that. The amount of content and quality that this game puts out is absolutely incredible. Yeah, they... They really do a ton of stuff. I mean, when you consider how much effort has to go into one of these maps, it's a lot. Like, all the uh, the animals and the animations, some of, some of which can carry over from other species, and then all the models, like uh, all these little plants, the trees are different. There's a lot of stuff. That it's a lot of work. That is for sure. Okay, I don't know if we're enough into... I mean, the mountain's here. Maybe they'd come down this far to drink? Otherwise, I'm thinking... That one. So we'll just kind of scoot along. Try to see what we can see. But that area up there... Seems to be a really good one. Mouflon and uh, Ibex in that one. What map am I playing? I'm currently on Quattro Kalinas, which is a map coming out on December 10th. Thanks to EW, we get to do a little bit of uh, early looking at it. I'm a fan. Might be calling in sick to work. Wouldn't blame you. Alright, we got more Mouflon. Not seeing any super... Ooh, it's a big red deer. Not seeing any super heavy tracks. Maybe what we ought to do then is head up the mountain. There's like a castle thing. Interesting. Are the content creators giving out codes to play early? I don't think there's any codes to play early. Uh, but as far as I know, I should probably be uh, <laughs> promoting the Discord for this. If somebody wants to do the uh, Discord command. There should be opportunities to win the DLC over there on Discord. And uh, just because I don't know how YouTube is with like uh, such things as that, I believe I may be required to say YouTube has nothing to do with that. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, but yeah, would recommend joining the Discord because you may get yourself a copy of the DLC. I believe there's also some games, uh, like full game copies being given away. You know what? Let's not go up that. <laughs> it's too steep. What are the new species? Alright, there's four types of Ibex. There are... Let's see if I can get it. Ronda, Grado, Southeastern, and Besit. There are Mouflon, which is kind of like a bighorn sheep looking thing. There are European Hare. Uh, then there's Roe Deer, Red Deer, Wild Boar, and I'm missing one... Iberian Wolves. I think I got them all. Ooh, almost had them. So, ooh, what are those? Rodier? I saw something over there that looked bigger. But, um, I'm curious if European hare are more like the jackrabbits where males are diamond or, uh, the other one, scrub hare, where females are diamond. No wonder Nightbot's so far behind. Poor boy. So that's a 602. I don't know if that tells us much. Looks pretty much the same as the uh, the jackrabbit, but I don't know what kind of differences you'd really see from a uh, jackrabbit to your euro hare. I think they're essentially the same animal. 
be buying regardless. Looks amazing. And the species, man. The species are really, really cool. A little heavy on the Ibex, maybe. But I'm alright with that. A lot of people have been wanting, like, a sheep or goat species. So, oh, here you go. There's five on this map. I want to get uh, to that other lake. Kind of ignoring stuff. But these are red deer and road deer, so we've seen these. Kill a diamond hare, because that's what we all want to see. Yes. Is the 6.5 good? Not only is it, as far as I can tell, more than capable of taking down the Ibex and Mouflon, which is the size of animal that it's made for, it sounds incredible. We'll be shooting it here shortly, I'm sure. I, I guarantee it's worth uh, sticking around to listen to. It's such a good sounding gun. I heard a sound. Could have been wolves, potentially. I, yeah, TK said there is <laughs> aggression with them, so that could have been what that was. Uh, Snakehead, thanks for the super chat, dude. How would you feel about another Asian map with Ibex and Marco Polo sheep? Marco Polos are cool. Uh, if there's enough room for, like, other unique species, sure. I'd be alright with that. I'd like Alpine Ibex, too, while we're on the, the topic of them. They're in Classic, and I think they're really, really cool. Quite, uh, <laughs> unique horns on them. Um, Tony, thanks for the super chat, man. Hi. I appreciate it, dude. Have to imagine Mouflon opens the opportunity for getting Bighorn on the Yukon. Maybe Doll Sheep. Bighorn don't really fit. But, yeah. I mean, very similar horn style for both of them. I would think they could play off that quite easily. Just got here. Did I miss anything cool? We actually shot two albino female mouflon, which uh, I don't know if those are technically legit or not. But other than that, we just we've shot some ibex and mouflon rams. Just kind of scooting through. How long am I on for? I would imagine it could be a while. <laughs> this map's really cool. I need to save enough of my voice to record a video later tonight because I'm hunting most of tomorrow. But we'll see. Is there new clothes? I didn't even look. Does anybody know the answer to that? I don't know if they said. We may need to check at the next outpost. Uh, but I believe we're in new Ibex territory as we get closer to this mountain. Got road here. I think we can go up this side too, so we'll drop down and see if there's any at the lake first. Anything cool? Uh, just a couple of albino female mouflon, and again, I don't know if that's kind of like Yukon where there's too many. We will be paying attention to that for the rest of it. Want a Utah map bad, but I'm hyped for this one. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this was, uh, okay, we got Ronda Ibex now. That might be a big one. Can't be huge, but... No, they get bigger. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't think this is my first choice for a map, but from what I'm seeing and what I have seen, like screenshots and, you know, stuff they've posted, pretty, pretty stoked to get out there and start chasing diamond goats. I hope they are difficult to find. I hope they're <laughs> very rare. Okay, so these are the ones with, like, the shorter, stubbier horns. I didn't even see them down there. So we'll sort of, we'll let them chill out. Then we'll fire off the old 6.5. Uh, Luke, thanks for the super chat, man. Much appreciate. While they're doing that, see if we can see anything else. Not so much at the moment. So there was a four somewhere. Not sure where. Just put a cowboy hat on my cat and he said meow to you. I'm 
Yeah, I bet he did. Appropriate response. That guy actually looks big. I think these were the kind of Ibex that they had in the... Uh, what's it called? Like the reveal thing? Listen to that gun. It's so good. Let's see if he gives me something better. Maybe. I missed that entirely. Is that one bigger? Maybe I should just wait again. I wanted to shoot that gray looking one, but let's let's hang out. There's many a thing to be shot. Yeah, they're all just chilling. There's actually a four. He looks big to me, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a scale. I'm just figuring he looks bigger than the other ones. Hey, G-Man. Cuervo Cabingas. This is that. That's the one. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Even though I did. Anyway. Watching during a science exam? Uh, hope you're done with your exam. <laughs> don't, uh... Don't be slacking. They're real slow getting back. But again, I think as far as Ibex go, they should be quite spooky. That's probably a plus. That's the one I wanted. And I'm trying to keep the shots a little bit back because if you weren't here earlier, TK and I talked about it. He was here in the stream a little bit. It seems like their lungs are a bit back in the body. So shooting through, like, kind of front of the shoulder is a little bit too far forward. That worked out pretty good. We got a couple to go take a peek uh. at. And these are tracks going this way, so maybe there's another herd still? We'll have to go look. Uh, G-Man, thanks for the Super Chat, man. One dirty boy. Are you here to promote your stream next hey. year? Now's your best opportunity. Oh, anyway. <laughs> At what level do you unlock new maps? You can get new maps uh, as soon as you buy the game. There are, what, three in the base game? That's a 65. I wonder if we shot that one. No, there's two in the base game. Leighton Lakes and Hirschfeld, and they're in the base game. And then the other... Is there Five? Our DLCs you can purchase, they're all the same price, $7.99 US or the equivalent. Have I seen all the species? Not even close. I've seen, I think, three of the seven new ones. Maybe four. So that's a 915 feather. My insect seems to not be increasing. I don't know what's up with that. Those are neato looking horns. Though. Look how thick they are. The diamond's got to be... Even crazier. So this is that, like, gray-colored one. He's still considered a common. Interesting. I'm just going to save a bunch of these until we see if we get higher-scoring ones by the end. Send you a raid next year. Don't worry. We'll be live for eight months. believe what's a perk oh the ability to spot animals through the gun sight that's a skill that is I can show you if I can find skills it's in ambusher down here and top of tier 2 very worth the skill point okay so I don't see another herd like I had those tracks going across that way there's also a huge lake up here that I wouldn't mind taking a look at. Hello. Where are you? A road here. Holy. Might try to smoke it just because. That was a sound. Oof. Just try to. <laughs> yup. Hey. Well, it'll die eventually. Uh, who was that? 
Chicken legs, thanks for hitting that join button, man. I appreciate you. If you don't know, you can link your YouTube to your Discord and get a special role in the Discord. So if you're not in there, uh, make sure you join. I know Palo just had the Discord link in there. Yeah, it's up there uh, with Nightbot's chat, but yeah, I appreciate it, man. Enjoy your uh, emojis here in the stream chat. Will they ever put turkey in? Eventually. Some <laughs> I saw a comment. I think it was maybe on their Facebook post. Level 3 females, huh? So maybe these ones are extra... Like... Weary. Anyway. Somebody commented on their... Uh, their Facebook post about it. Just like completely upset. We don't want a new map. We want turkeys. I mean, I'll take a new map. <laughs> That's just me, maybe, but... I'm a fan. Have I gotten involved with the wolves? No, I'm hearing them, so I think maybe they're up here in the north? I don't know. Man, frame this road here. That might have been me. So, threes, I think, is the best I've seen here. In, in theory, this is like... Probably a silver, even though they look pretty decent. And I done spoofed him, so. I feel like they, uh, more than other species, kind of just walk away for a bit, too. Smooth. At least we will know <laughs> if the 6.5 keeps integrity on road here. Yes. Just want one of these to give me a shot. It could be... Nah, their zone's not over. That's right in the intestines. Or a miss? Okay. I'll take a miss, because that second shot was way easier. Five new species with huge horns. Yes. Small burb is better. What did Zaggy say that you shouldn't believe? I'm... Missed it. Hey. But am I a hunter in real life? Yes, sir. As recently as this morning. And possibly this afternoon, but uh, I might not worry about it too much. Tomorrow's uh, still rifle season, but doe, the doe part of rifle season basically starts, and that means good chance there's a lot of hunters in the woods potentially pushing deer around. Probably uh, save my energy for that. Graham, thank you again, man. What happened to Farming Sim Fridays? Did I miss your last super chat? I think I read it out, didn't I? If I missed it, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I just, I don't know. I kind of stopped playing the game. Maybe over the summer I'll get back into it. Hey. Like right now with... Oh, I did hit it. Right now with the amount of hunting and everything going on, I can't really uh, afford to get going on another game. Hey. But yeah, I'd like to get back to it. So that sound you guys can hear, that is the sound of them climbing like the cliffs. It's pretty loud. I think that's going to need to be changed and I imagine it will be. But if it's not and you hear that, look up because that's where they are. Won't get the new map until the second... Tuesday of next week? Do you mean because PS4 is slow? They said it's supposed to be December 10th. Hopefully, Sony cooperates. Yeah, right, Aaron? That's not even where I was this morning when I saw a buck, though. Hey, Ian. Been waiting for this one? Yeah, dude. I've been really hyped to get a look at it. Hey, Zach. I didn't even see you there. Find new Ibex, boys. I want to check this lake, and then we're going to go to this mountain. And then the last one, there's a bunch of lakes around it, but it's a bit of a trot to get over there. Uh, any new weapons apart from the rifle? No, there's, I think, three variations of the 6.5, but it's the only new 
like caliber. What do the Ibex calls sound like? I don't, let me uh, see, do I have that on me? I don't, so let's do it like this. Can you call in the Ibex? As far as like what they sound like, it's a, a goat. But recommended equipment, none of them are recommending like a, a collar, so I assume they can't be called in. Which I think is good, that's more realistic. They said they'd be doing the true horns when they're done with true racks, along with those funny antlers I forgot the name of. Huh? Ooh. Maybe we'll take a quick look at that. Shoot him on our way by. You like the new rifle sound? Dude, I might carry that over the Mosin. What are we doing here? <laughs> I might carry that over the Mosin simply because it sounds amazing. The Mosin sounds good, but the 6.5 is on a different level. I don't think I have the Mosin with me. Uh, I do not. Because I can't remember the Mosin's accuracy stat. They're both very accurate, though. Something elf, elf, else worth testing out will be the soft point bullets on the 6.5 because those do exist. Oh boy, gun didn't come out. That's like a seven. Couldn't see much other than his neck, but that'll work. Nice little herd of them hanging out in the trees here. Not too bad. At least we got to kill one. Because I don't think I'm going to be spending much time on any others. Our Zag tactics getting patched, at least on this kind of pre-release beta thing, they are not. Uh, they still work. 78, I think, for the Mosin. Okay, because the 6.5 is 70, which is still, you know, quite good. Compare that to the 30-odd 6 that I just shot with. It's twice that. Those are still red. Yeah, that's another 7, though, I think. Yeah. We'll go take a look at this lake. Uh, what's your question, Raven? Hopefully I can find it in the chat. How much is the rifle in game? I think it was like 10,000. It's really cheap. Uh, it comes with the map DLC, so that makes sense. What were you? I saw a thing. I saw a wolf. Hey. <laughs> is there any big woofs here? So three. Interesting. I assume they go to nine as well, like any other predator. Maybe we just have a really lame pack. But we gotta shoot the male. Don't bark at me. Did I miss the heart and the lungs? I got something. Oh, wait. There, that's the wrong gun. Never mind. That's my bed. A red dead deer. Oof. Totally using the 6.5 in the Mosin's place. Yeah, same. So, we've seen Ronda Ibex, we've seen the Besiege Ibex, we've seen Mouflon, we've seen Iberian Wolves. I think it's just the two species of Ibex, because we've seen the Euro Hares as well. And I think we'll have at least seen one of everything. And these guys are much smaller, I believe. Seeing the 5 kilo estimate, I'm going to say they max in the area of 50 kilos. And yeah, that was wrong gun being the issue there. I wouldn't think we got too bad quick kill because the follow-up shot was quick. Yeah, 
And before I get smoked by Spanish Woofs, it's reasonably likely. He's got an interesting stare to him, though. I don't know what I think about that. I do recall, though, uh, the... What are they called on the Yukon? Just Grey Wolves. Those ones got, like, an eye change as well. So that may happen. Am I using soft tips? I've not used them yet. I think I'm going to switch to them when I go uh, for the other Ibex. Let's use the proper gun this time. That's a little yeah. more like it. So maybe a gold woof. We'll see. Uh, Brendan, is it Mayor? Meyer? Hopefully I got one of the two. Can you say the names of all the Ibex again? I know you said it in a video, but I couldn't understand what you said for one of them. So I don't know if the if the words are being pronounced right because they may be Spanish. I can just show you on screen. That'll be easier. Let's do wildlife. So we have Ronda or Ronda. I'm saying it like it's Spanish. Ronda and Kratos. It's either Besit or Besete something and then Southeastern Spanish. That one, I, uh, no. That one I can say. Here we go. <laughs> Floaty boy. So I don't think there's any Ibex here anyway. I need a lasso. Bring him in here. Find me a diamond mouflon. See, I want to find one. But I also want to find one in the main game, not in the beta, because then I got to find another one. We tipped a thousand, did we? Holy... That's big viewer numbers. Appreciate everybody actually uh, coming out to take a look at the map. Have I shot anything huge yet? Nothing massive. Like 915. Was it a Ronda Ibex was the best one? Uh -huh. Go to map. I show you map. Joshua, thanks for the super chat, man. Can you have too many perks and skills? Uh, it maxes out. So you get, I think, 22 skill points, 22 perk points, something like that. Swim after him. Hey. Hit! I can't swim. B. Th. B. Th. What? <laughs> B. Th. Thedes. Is that... Wait. What are we pronouncing? I think... Okay. I might know. Because some Spanish, a C is pronounced like a TH. Is that what we're pronouncing? That might make sense. So that was just a silver, 795. But they have a really cool coat. Almost like timber wolvish. Got enough left for a piebald mouflon. Holy. All right, let's change the time again. You want an albino mouflon? We did shoot a couple of females. Uh, whether that was legit or beta. Oofs. <laughs> I ain't sure. I'm not doing rain. <laughs> let's not do rain. Zach, thanks for the super chat, man. You're Aaron's unwanted grandson. I always knew. I don't know what I always knew. Okay. So, is that actually... Hey. Yeah, that must be the next mountain. You can see the, the brown on the map. Less than a week till I get the one-year badge. Holy... Had to take off for a little bit. All right, I appreciate you hanging out, TK. It's a pretty, pretty dang nice map. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Look at close. Okay, sorry. I look at close. Yeet. Where is right here? <laughs> Store. I'll get to that in one second. So we have Savannah, Parquet thing. Mm, doesn't look like it. Looks like uh, all the same as what we had. 
Who was that? Jared Rogers. Thanks for the super chat, man. How would you feel about them adding a suppressor attachment? I don't think I've ever heard that idea talked about. It's been brought up. Uh, my biggest thing is I don't... I don't feel the game needs to be made any easier, and I think that does that. So, yeah. Does a 30-odd sticks keep integrity on IMAX? That's actually a good question, because... Let's take a look. Let's see what this thing says. Because uh, they weigh... Some of them weigh more than Whitetail. These are all recommended Class 2. I think the 30-odd sticks technically is still a Class 3. It is. I would guess no, but maybe. <laughs> Hard to say. How many animals? Uh, total, there's 10 species. I think we've seen... Of the new one, of the seven new ones, I think we've seen five now. We've seen the wolves, two of the ibex, the mouflon, and the euro hair. Uh, do the hair look any different? They look to be the same. There might be some other... Ooh, they are down here. There might be some other, like, fur variations, but nothing I saw. Any new calls? You know, I should have looked in the store for that. I didn't see anything. I'm guessing not, because none of the new species really should be called, in theory. So these ones should have, like, a, a curly-looking horn thing. What? Uh. How did a super chat get the message deleted by Nightbot? I don't know if that happened for you guys. That's a weird one. Uh, but I can see it in my alerts anyway. So, Joshua, thank you, man. Can you have too many perks and skills I didn't hear? No, um, it maxes out. So you, you get 22 perk points and 22 skill points as you level up. And then you just stop getting them. Have I seen the new multi-mounts? I have been told that they exist. I've not seen them. So I've been saving Ibex along the way. Ooh. More Mouflon. I like it. So from what I'm seeing, west side of the map is this Mouflon territory. Slaughter all touchy wolves. <laughs> I need to get him to be mad at me. So there's hey. just one. I see more tracks. Oh yeah. So again, we have level three females and I believe the idea is because they're goats, they're gonna be a little more difficult to like get close to and stuff. That's my guess. I'm not seeing any, whoa. Not seeing any big males here though. It's not deleted for me. Sometimes Nightbot freaks out and deletes like the wrong message on my end. I don't know if that happens to like just some people or what. So do you guys not actually have a male? I sure don't see one. If you slow down. I was hoping that would get into intestines or something. What's that? That's a male butter mouflon. Uh, Jared Rogers, thanks again, man. Gotta go plow snow. Have a great day. All right, you too, man. I appreciate you. That's what Aaron would look like if he were an Ibex. Absolutely smoked him. I don't think I'm going to track that one. I want to see if I can find a male. Maybe... Those are the ones. There we go. Just had to go a little further over here. Now, another thing TK said, if you weren't here while he was in chat, all Ibex max at level 5, so easy to know for sure like what you're looking at, not any added confusion. That appears to be the one to go for. And I don't know where the Mouflon went. They're over there somewhere. We'll get a little bit closer. Those Ibex females have a thick body. Thank you. So are they seeing me that far away? They must be. 
Ugh, and I need breath. He's gonna not be broadside the moment I get it. No you. I heard something up here too. I don't know what that was. Oh. I wonder if that's the one I hit, because it's running like it's hit. Could have been. So there's a male behind me somewhere, evidently. Interesting. What's that? That is uh, Ibex. I want to check if the 30 out 6 gets integrity. Because again, they max at the same weight as Whitetail. But I mean, so do Fallow, so that's not the best reasoning. If he wants to cooperate. There you go. Oh. Well, I was here for the wrong range. That sure ain't gonna help me. Uh, does my Discord have a spreadsheet for integrity? I think one of the spreadsheets does have that, yeah. And thanks for the super chat again, man. Oh, they actually max above Whitetail. They're going into, like, 102 range, it looks like. Interesting. So that's that random three. Have I found all four Ibex yet? I've found uh, three of the four. And apparently I let a pretty good one get away. 93 kilos would have been probably bigger than this one. Probably a little bit. Yeah, this is barely even a gold. All right. So maybe we should hang out a little bit. Try to figure out where that got to. It's an 83. Well, just kind of scoot around a little bit. Uh, any diamonds? None yet. Okay, that's the sound of somebody on a mountain. It sounds like it's over here, but it's not actually. Those are the mouflon again. Ooh, that was a... Was that a big one? I may never know. That, that's an albino male though. I get the impression, perhaps they are a little too common. But regardless, I'm gonna shoot it. And hopefully I'm gonna make the shot on that. Did I hit the ground? <laughs> okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Hopefully I'm going to make the shot on that, he says again. Uh, are diamonds more common in multiplayer? I wouldn't say so. I would say uh, multiplayer gives you more opportunities potentially for diamonds. But I wouldn't say they're more common. All right. Potentially, if he comes back, round two. I would like to know how I hit the ground on that. Wait a minute. Is that the one? Or is that just the butt of a common one? I think that's him. Hey, it has to be. Okay, that was a little better. Rares are broke still? Okay. Well, good to know anyway. Hopefully something that can be rectified. I still want to find that bigger Ibex. It's a feature. Yes. 100% agree. Thick feature. And a thick male up there. That's probably the best one I've seen. I see more. I saw more. You got class? Alright, later, Silvermoon. Enjoy your class. Is 
Is that a dead one? No. But I claimed that by accident. Nice little albino male. So they look really cool. They might be accidentally too common. But they have pretty dang good models. Taxidermize that one. I like how they kind of stand there in shock from the bullet passing through. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's the one of the uh, animations TK was talking about, but it's interesting. I like that they aren't fleeing immediately. I mean, sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. That's the thing. Uh, can I elaborate a little more on opportunities? Basically, my the the thing that I always say about multiplayer. Let's just take this map for example. Let's pretend that this lake we're at right now is your favorite spot on the entire map, and you go there on your single player map and you hunt that every day. The problem is, because animal population files exist, most of the animals are going to be the same. You're going to see the same animals for the most part. And then you're going to shoot some, and you're going to get respawns. That may well be a diamond. It's going to be real close. Uh, let's figure out where that got to. But yeah, let's say that's your favorite map, or your favorite spot on the map. You go there, multiplayer. You may be in a server where that particular host doesn't like that spot, or has never gone to that spot. And there could be a diamond just waiting there for you. So the idea is if you go, say you hunt four multiplayer servers and you hunt that lake four times in an hour, rather than spending one hour on your own map there, it's more chances, kind of. Does that even make sense? Hopefully. I'm back when I miss not too much. We may be on a diamond Ibex track. Um, tracking them... Does not seem to be the easiest thing in the world. Especially when there's a lot of them. There's also mouflons, so I can't necessarily uh, be certain that I'm on, like, with the herd just by looking at these inactive tracks. Making a ton of noise in that bush, holy. Um. Alright. Let's try this again. Aaron's immune. I don't buy it. Whoa. Mouflon warning calls. Pretty cool. Maybe he did just go back right here. Do we have just nails on this as well? It certainly seems like he's going that way. And this is where the stream turned into tracking simulator. Hey. Oh boy. I mean, maybe the smart thing is just go back and wait, wait at the lake. Let's do that. Rather than not even knowing what I'm doing. I'll even, I'll even go change the time. We'll knock it back a little bit. Uh, give him plenty of time to get in there. Uh, Joshua, thank you again, man. And no worries. It's all good. Uh, I know their drink time's 8.30, right? 8 to 11? Yeah, it'll be good. Let's try this again. Be a little more intelligent about what we shoot. The issue is I don't know if he's a 4 or a 5. But I guess we'll uh, find out. Sense make? Alright, good. The stream might be very delayed today. I feel like... I gotta click on that now. That's annoying. I feel like I can't... Uh, keep a, the same level of conversation because it's longer behind. Is 97 going to be a level 5 in theory? So here's the thing. A 95 kilo... Fallow can be level 5. A 95 kilo whitetail can be level 3. Uh, and they max lower, which means like the, the higher the max weight, the higher 
or the wider range you get for a potential diamond level five. Nice legend. So hard to map hunt some parts because there's no sight lines. Yeah. It makes you think about what you're doing, that's for sure. Uh, new guns with the map. There is the 6.5, which is the gun we're going to be attempting to smoke this thick Ibex with when we find them. Need to keep resetting it. I must have missed something, but alright. Sounds like solid advice. So I didn't see that track till we got over there. So my best guess is he drinks in this zone. Suppose we will find out as we go. Take it a little slower getting over there, maybe. That's a mouflon. Starting to learn. So they're going to be over there. Got myself a male big. Yes, sir. Oi, it's Sean Johns. How's it going, dude? Six point five Creed more. That is it. What do they call it in uh, six point five Martinson Thunder? Holy, that was loud. The gaming turtle. Welcome to the Super Schuster Club, man. I appreciate you. Uh, if you don't know, you can link your YouTube to your Discord. Get the uh, the special role over there. All that good stuff. Otherwise, man, uh, enjoy your emojis in the chat. And I guess. One thing I missed. If you're not in the Discord, you should join that. There's a link below or the Discord command will work as well. Is this map out? Now, it releases December 10th uh, on all platforms, which is Tuesday, I think. So it, it's soon. Just going to really chill. Did I figure out if the 30 out 6 will hold integrity? It shouldn't on Mouflon. Mouflon are too small. Ibex, in theory, it could. I'm guessing no. Uh, but I've not tried it yet. Or maybe I did and then I found a heavy track and forgot about it. That could have also happened. That might be an Ibex. Nah, it's a Mouflon. I can see the... The, like, patches on its side. So the thing is, they could, they do move very slow from what I can tell, so they could still be moving in. I just saw, oh, that could also be a problem. That one's like red, isn't it? Eh, maybe not. But yeah, I imagine that'll keep Ibex out of here. Which isn't the best thing in the world. So will this actually release on all platforms on the 10th? Well, hopefully, anyway. I think that comes down to, like, Sony and Microsoft more than EW themselves. Where are they at? The woofs must have chased him away. How did I get the new map when it's not released now? So this weekend is like a content creator weekend. EW has given a bunch of creators the opportunity to like make content on the game throughout the weekend. And I assume the idea is to get the most eyes on the game. Potentially bring in some people from, you know, other audiences and all that. I think it's a good thing. But yeah, um, I was fortunate enough to be considered for that. So that's how I'm on the map right now. Okay, we have an Ibex. It is not drinking. 
It may well be spooked by the wolf, but we're getting somewhere. That's a four. See, I had a bunch of heavy tracks, though. So it's going to be real tough to say for certain if it's the right one if we don't see that level five. I joined a Discord. My name is Diamond Schuster 338 All right, cool, man. So if you uh, go to the info tab in Discord, there is instructions on how to link your, your YouTube there to get the roll. Hopefully that can uh, be useful for you. No worries, Bucking Bear. Show. Whoops are trying to make my life more difficult here. Which is always, you know, appreciated. I personally want antlers barring in larger deer herds in classic. Eh, you never know. Maybe maybe someday something will happen in there. I think with classic though the way the game works. The larger deer herds would be nice when you find the herds and then a lot more boring in between time. How much is 6.5 in game? It's 10k, I believe. Hey. Alright. These failures are nowhere to be seen. So the wolves definitely spooked them. I wonder if TK uh, knows or can tell us the answer if wolves actually chase Ibex. Because I know wolves in on Yukon will basically spook anything. But they only chase mm, bison and caribou. Hey. Maybe I'm wrong about that, actually, now that I'm thinking of it. What kind of Ibex are on the map? So there's Bethides. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, TK attempted to help me with it. Then there's Ronda, Grados, and Southeastern. Steel, no Ibex. Hmm. Is there a level 4 animal on this map? Yeah, we saw a good number of them. Lots of, uh, the first Ibex we saw were level 4s. Have you missed any big males? We're in the process of trying to get one. I have a track that might be a real big one. I'm not sure. I'd say there's, like, a 50-50 shot he's level 5 or not. They do, I've seen them chasing Mouflon. Okay. So that could be what happened. Good information to know. Is the 6.5 going to be in my basic loadout? I'll need to use it more and try the Mosin out on the Ibex and stuff as well, but uh, so far from what I'm seeing, especially from what I'm hearing, I think it will be. It sounds so good. That's a plant. Took me a while to be sure of it, but that's a plant. So, we got tracks in a zone here. I do wonder if staying back is actually going to work because of the wolves. Because, I'll say it again, they move very slow, the Ibex. Not a whole lot of trotting happening. Uh, am I using soft points or poly? I was using polymer tips. So that's actually a wolf zone. Interesting. Mouflon through here. This is definitely not going to be an easy task. Hey, Kalari. How goes it? Um, hmm. I 
guess that was a pretty big one, that 51 kilo mouflon. I guess we'll run around and try to get the track then, because they don't seem to be, at least for the moment, coming back. I'd at least like to know where... Like, where they're headed. It ought to be down to the water, but I don't know. That's a mouflon. I also should have paid a little closer attention to where I actually uh, got the tracks. Or, yeah, where I spotted that Ibex, but I didn't. So, oops. Okay, that's an Ibex run, so maybe we're on to something. The rest of these are mouflon. Let's just, let's just trail this one a little bit. Oh, what are these? Damn, move on. Because I wouldn't be shocked nah. if he's with these ones. I believe that's the case, but I'm not sure. Uh, ben Ben, thanks so much for the super chat, man. Really appreciate you as always. Any diamonds yet? None yet. We may be sort of on the tracks of one. Not the tracks that I'm currently on. I think there's a chance he's with this one. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I think potentially I have an idea. And basically, the current goal is to attempt to run them into a spot where I can see better. That tends to be a decent tactic. If you can't find them, try to run them into the open, kinda. Mm hmm. Now we're onto something. So I know there's a group, I just don't know for certain he's in it. Because there's two tracks I'm missing. I'm missing his, and there was a 93 as well. Tough to say if he's there or not. I never spotted him. Yeah, but I spotted an Ibex. There's a 93. He might be here. Anyway, my point when I said that was just so I could find their tracks and have a starting point. This country is a lot better. If he's here, we'll have a much easier time Actually, he's spotting him and finding out if he's, I guess, a five, first and foremost. Hit. I would have guessed they'd be visible, though. We'll slow it down a little bit now. The wind's bad. Scoot over here. Uh, the wind's bad, but... I'll take bad wind being able to see. Is this out already? Nah. The, uh, the tenth. A few more days. Mm, nah, I'm not seeing them. They must have gone down over. So we're technically on the mountain, which I guess is good. this way. I've picked it up twice. It's not 93, Aaron. It's 97. You silly goober. Insert 55 kilo mouflon comment here. Is that a big one? Did I have that? Did I take down my true Rax lodge? No, I, all my lodges that like were filled before the new lodge are staying how they were. Basically, the new lodge is starting over for me. Go get the 55 kilo mouflon. That shouldn't be that big. Maybe like 920, 930. You want me to get it? I may get it on my way back or, you know, in the process of trying to kill this one eventually. 
Do we know what 6.5 it is? I mean, it's this one. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could just get one of his tracks to know for sure that this is worth my time. I saw him with a 7, the max of 102. This 87 right here. That's the one you seen. I'm starting to believe he's not here though. Oh, I saw one. Just if I could spook the things and know for sure actually too that lake could be where he was and I mean sometimes they randomly get like far away from where their zones are so I guess we'll check it could be other good stuff here too later TK What keyboard do I have? It's very loud. It's a uh, Razer Huntsman Elite, I think. It is very loud. I might have to switch back. What I miss? Uh, we're currently trying to track down a Diamond Ibex. Or at least I think it could be. But he's not cooperating. This is pretty far down the mountain, but we'll at least take a look. That still doesn't answer my question as to why the 88 only goes to 97. You are reading things wrong, buddy. <laughs> I think that's 68 to 97. It's a 17 kilo range, actually. I don't know what you're reading. Because 80 to 97 is one of them. Or at least I think it is. You got me confused. 83, yeah, it's 17. I'm back at least for a bit. Find the Ibex yet? Nah. I tried changing the time and we're still going to go back and take another look now that the wolves have moved out of there. But for the moment, I'm just going to run down here. Take a look at this lake. Make sure things are all good. You have a razor with green switches. There's a mouflon. Very loud as well. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, it's not a huge deal with the music, but might switch it. The thing is, it's all like matching all my other colors for stuff. Because my old Corsair was just red. It was quiet, but just red. I don't know, does Razor make one that's a little more silent? Because I could probably just do that. Is it it's small on the stream screen? Yeah. Plus it's a little bit blurry because stream streams do that. I get you. Am I overall happy with the map so far? Yeah, very. I like it. It's different. It is challenging to hunt in some ways. There's more. So maybe he is here. There's a good four. Alright, that makes things interesting. But yeah, I, I like the, uh, the terrain. The species look pretty good as far as I can tell. I mean, I don't know what these look like in real life, but... I think they look good. Hey... I don't know where they're going, though. They shouldn't be leaving yet. Just trying to spot them all, and... How did I get past you? That's weird. Ah... <laughs> Even if this one isn't a diamond, I can't wait to see how big it is. Yeah, these guys have really, really cool looking horns. It should be pretty nifty. Uh, Zane, thanks for the super chat, man. Can I show the true rack on Red Deer? They do not have true racks yet. They're going to be a little bit later. 
Uh, I believe TK said they're more, like, it's like a more complex antler system, so he wants, or they want to, uh, you know, take the time to get it right. Which is a good thing. I'm just gonna scoot down here and check tracks, kinda. Maybe spot them as they flee. 82. 80 is a track I had. 95. That's gonna be one of the fours. Let's see if we can kill that 95. Because that'll give us a really. and a 94. That'll give us a really good idea of if our 97 is worth tracking then. Bleh. They're way over there too. So that's a four. Okay. This lake right here is a really good one. But theoretically that's not as big as the one that we have tracks from or not likely to be. Try to see if there's any more while I'm here. Okay. So hopefully there's no wolves. Hopefully they come back relatively quickly. We'll just kind of scoot through here. Can a mythical be a diamond? I don't think there's any, any species that mythical could make diamond on. Pickup truck DLC. There you go. Just haul all, all your animals around when you get them. I think it's a good idea. Just gotta crawl over here, I guess. How long do I stream? Usually about two hours. This one might go over. I at least want to decide, based off this, if I want to get the 97 kilo ibex i had tracks from and then after that uh the, we gotta go see one more species of ibex still i think the ones we've not seen are the southeastern mainly because they live in the southeast uh so they're i think a little bit unique as well if i'm remembering right that maiden call gave you a flashback noise If only they took the time to do elk. I still really hope they're going back to them. They almost have to. Where are you? Have I killed anything yet? Yeah, we've had, uh... Almost every, we've had a look at almost every species. We're just missing the southeastern ibex. Trying to figure out what's going on here with, with these uh, big Grados ones. So, hmm. I hear stuff. I can't tell what I hear, but I, I definitely heard something. How good is the new map? So far, I really like it. I'm a fan of it. I like the, uh, holy. I like the diversity of species and everything. The terrain is quite diverse as well. Does this hide me? Kinda. I can hear him. That is not one of the ones we're after, okay. I also think I heard something over that way. Also a three. See, the thing is though, the thing that I heard, oh, that's, that's one of the ones we want right there, isn't it? I think so. So hopefully he'll go broadside because I like the 6.5, but it's not insane perfect all right which one did we just shoot 
got the the reload animation is so good. We shot the 94, so that's that's fine. I just need to get a scale of what we're looking at here. I would say at 94, uh, he in theory should be. Um, 9.30? 9.20? Should have paid attention to which way you went. Yeah. The heck? Did he run down the hill? I really didn't watch. Uh. What? I mean, he didn't go far. We'll find him eventually. Oh. He went that way. He came to visit me and I didn't even know. So yeah, I'd say if he's like 920 is 20-ish, we gotta go for it. 881? What? I would say that 97 is not worth it then. That would be my professional opinion. I'd say it's a 4 and there's even a fair chance we spotted it. Um, It's a quick little run over there, so I think we'll look. How did Derek, like, nail that? Where am I going? This way. Uh, what even was that again? 881. So that's interesting. Is there gonna be... What's a species that's like that? They're gonna be more like reindeer caribou, I guess. Where they have to be really high scoring to... Or really high weight to actually make it. I still want to go up and look, but I don't think that's going to be a five then. How's a waste of time? Yeah, pretty much. But I, I actually like that as well. It's, it's the same thing as what I was talking about earlier. I'd prefer them to be difficult diamonds to get because they are... Like, goat species should be quite tough to hunt. In my opinion. And then this last mountain, we're probably going to go ahead and take a quad halfway over. Has it released or do you have a demo or a beta? I have basically a beta. It's like a content creator weekend <laughs> that EW has decided to do. Releases on December 10th, so a couple of days. What's that? That's a rabbit. Can't spot him though. Marie. Uh, Stefan, thanks for the super chat, dude. That is what that means, Aaron. 100%. You got it. So, if he is not over in this corner, I'm not gonna spend much more time here, but I at least wanna go look since it's easy to check. Consect doesn't matter. Yeah, that, that wasn't a part of it. Just, uh, just the old score being smaller than expected. That is A4. Could be the one, but I also had a 93 and, uh, something else. 87 is probably a 4. What call do you use for the Ibex? There is no call. Um... At least, as far as I can tell, there's no way of actually calling him in. See the only one over there. Would seem as if. All right. Well, you know what? We'll hand him a quick smoke. See if that's the one. It probably isn't, but who knows? If he wants to lift his head. Is that that? Uh, I think I single lunged him. That gap in the front of the chest is a little bit tough. What are you? Where were you hiding? Oh. Yeah, I don't need those. Go pro for no reason. Don't forget to check new multi mounts. Yeah, I've been saving one of each species just for that. We'll see what's in there. Is my consec still not increasing? I think I have, like, I have been shooting animals and leaving them just to 
Eh, you know, try to speed the process of seeing everything along to try to fit it into a two hour window. Because I know, like, I'm pretty sure Zaggy's streaming this. I don't want to, like, spend uh. the entire evening streaming it. Let you guys see some other perspectives and all that. Uh, Stefan, thanks again, man. Really appreciate the support. Do you think they should release a call for Cape Buffalo? Nah, they're easy enough to hunt. I don't think there's a reason. So... I know he ran this way. I halfway watched this time. And that was the 93, so... Yeah. Not a special one. Uh, Tate Harmon, thanks for the super chat. See more butts. More gun butts. So, yeah. Actually, it wasn't too bad a shot, but I was too high. I also ranged him wrong. Alright. Um, I'm thinking... Probably... Go to there. We'll reset the time. Why would we want to watch Zaggy? I mean... I didn't say you'd want to. What even is this? Spirit. <laughs> okay. Get me a quad. Hop on quad. Can I hunt ducks soon? Unfortunately, there's no ducks on this map. Uh, and I'm actually going to take the road. It's also loud in my ears, so I'm going to turn that down. 55 kg move one. That can't be. That's probably in like the 880s area as well. I want to make sure we get to see everything. But don't worry. I'll be hunting the map a good bit throughout the weekend for some videos. Fair chance I'll run into him. I know where he's at. They max at 60. Yeah, um. Ugh, I missed the road. I mean, that's a 5 kilo difference. It was 5 kilos on that Ibex. And they max at 102. 5 kilos at that weight is a lot. But yeah, I learned earlier doing this. Roads are probably the way to go. Get a zone, though. What's this for? A wabbit. Could have guessed. Anyway, yeah. Lots of, uh, lots of terrain that can flip your quad and send you flying. Kill anything good? Uh, 915. Ibex is the best thing we've seen. We're scooting around to the last mountain for Ibex, and then about the time we get there, and hopefully Smoke One will be close to ready to wrap up the string. Still got some some time to hopefully get something though. I like that there's so many species. Yeah, it's nice. It's a good bit of variety. Let's see what we can run into doing this. I'm going to smoke you if you mention the 55 kilogram mouflon. Holy. <sighs> I'm good at this game. Driving a 6 out of 10 at best. I mean, do we need to talk about what I did in my truck a couple of months ago? <laughs> I agree. What are all the species? All right, I'll list them again. So there are four species of Ibex. It's like Bethides. Southeastern, Grados, and Ronda. Then there are Mouflon, which is like a ram sheep species. There are European hare. And the last new one is Iberian wolves. And then there's red deer, roe deer, uh, wild boar. I almost called them warthogs. Yeet speed now. There's a herd of something. What are them? He went out of render. I saw a thing. I saw a bunch of things. Probably red deer, but... Could have been mouflon as well. Wait. It's also possible I saw rocks that kind of shimmer in the distance, but I think I saw... Like, white rear ends of stuff. 
What happened in the truck? Eh, uh, just sort of smoked the uh, passenger side, like back door. Gotta get it fixed. Wasn't wasn't anything bad. Just me uh, not thinking. I slept for like two hours, and then <laughs> went and drove somewhere. And literally, as I'm trying to pull out, uh, somebody like this in a parking lot. So somebody in front of me backed out. What on earth? Did you guys see that? There's like a... Oh god, that's not what I wanted. It's like an animal running in the sky. Anyway. Yeah, someone in front of me tried to back out. I was like, I'll just cut this sharp. And then, yeah. Hit the door of my truck. You think we'll get non-tips anytime soon? They said after Truex, uh, for everything else, they'll maybe do them, so it's gonna be a while. Have I shot any Iberian wolves? I think we shot two. They look good. They kind of look like timber wolves, or a little more brown, black colors. I liked them. I wonder if there's multi mounts for them though. I'm getting after red deer. Getting after roe deer. I think that could be cool. Are the pre-existing animals need zone times the same? They should be. Um, I can't guarantee that, but... I would assume so. Was that a rabbit? I thought it was like a... a deer. Or one of the sheeps. Santa's reindeer. Hey, he's getting warmed up. He's gotta get going in three weeks. Sky mammal. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, the sea mammals. You get the occasional sky mammal. Take a shortcut. There's got to be rest zones in these, though. As we have road ear tracks, I think, going through there. You got your truck sucked in a ditch by red clay. Hey, speaking of that. Uh, I think it was Monday morning while I was hunting. I was up at my parents. Like, the, the road going back to my parents is very narrow. So when I gotta, like, pull off to go hunt, if I'm hunting, like, out along the road, I'm not hunting along the road. If I'm not leaving from the house, basically. Anyway, I gotta be very far off the road to let other vehicles get by it. So I did that. And it was very slick, and my truck almost flipped over. It, my brother's truck could not pull it out. It took a tractor. <laughs> that one wasn't my fault for bad driving. That was just, you know, lack of traction anywhere. But that was pretty scary when it almost flipped. It like It's a pretty steep drop-off down that hill, and the whole passenger side was scooted down over a little bit. Is this a new map? Yeah, this is Quattro Kalinas. It's going to be released on December 10th on all platforms. It's pretty good. There's Ibex, there's Mouflon, there's uh, European Hare, Iberian Wolves. Did I get the Diamond Ibex? No. Uh, we killed one that weighed 94 kilos, and it scored 887 or something, so that one that we were after wasn't big enough. Can almost guarantee it map looks sick dude there's tons of like it feels huge there's tons of different diverse vegetation and stuff what kind of truck do I have it's an 06 F-150 it's like the uh, four door where the back doors are half doors I don't know if I ever posted a picture of it anywhere just me trying to avoid my parents so my mom wouldn't try to make me stay. I get forced to eat every time I'm there. I swear. It's probably my fault for talking about the fact that I don't have a lot of food down here jokingly. I mean, I I don't a lot of times, but I, that's on purpose. I try not to buy food that I can't use in the amount of time that it's going to be good for. Looking through my cards of excuses and comes up with traction. 
I didn't even take a picture of it because my dad is uh, not the type to mess around with stuff. But w I probably technically had traction, but the back end would have slid as I was trying to get the front end out. It was a bad, bad scene. How do you get half a door? It's like half a door. I don't know. You just do. Chevy's better. I don't know. Any truck you buy this day and age is going to be good. I think that the whole argument's silly. But I at least pretend to participate sometimes. It's because I don't go shopping. Yeah, I prefer to hide in here. <laughs> Yuri Raid? What? Why do the hair look like jackrabbits? I mean, they are essentially the same animal that lives somewhere else on the globe. I think that's the the thing. A cab and a half. I think it's crew cab or super cab. I don't remember. <laughs> it's even your last name. There you go. Wasn't there an NFL receiver? Wasn't it Jacoby Ford or something? Very similar name. Find that interesting. Road here. And move on. Find everything else that we've already seen. What time to move on drink? Move on drink from 6.30 to 9. Ooh, yes. Okay. I was kind of worried about that. This map is going to be fantastic for long, like, long hunts. You could start in the morning. You can hunt red deer and move on. Move right into Ibex as it gets a little later. Road deer are, are actually after that, although that seems odd. Road ears, six to nine drinking. I might have lied. I might have lied earlier when you guys asked if uh, if pre-existing species are the same. Because road ears should be drinking from what is it, thirteen hundred to seventeen hundred, I think. So that's kind of odd. Oh, either way, we know we have mouflon into ibex, and then something probably later. Could be red deer even. Let's, I want to shoot the road here with the creed more, but I won't. <laughs> I want to see what it does to him. That's the most realistic gun, the most realistic sounding gun we have in the game, in my opinion. Hey. We almost went a full stream without mentioning football. Did I do it? Oh, no, I, I did do it. Never mind. He has a similar name. It's not my fault. Maybe it is. Crew cab is four door. Extended cab is 1.5. Is it? I have no idea. I swear it was listed as a... Crew... I don't remember. It's been too long. Doesn't really affect me that much. So yeah, that's a 51 kilo and he's silver. That 55 wouldn't have been too special. Mouflon overpopulated. Hey, I'm all right with that. You're a cool looking sheepy boy. I'm gonna go to TK stream. Oh, is TK live? That's good. I'm glad that he's getting in there. That dude had to have an insanely busy day trying to help everybody out. Like last night, he was, uh, was that last night? No, it was this morning. Like six o'clock this morning, he was trying to help me get stuff done and I imagine I wasn't the only one red deer but where right there mm-hmm there's an ibex just one do I want to go all the way over there for a female not really there's a mouflon couple of them. That's a thicken. That's a melanistic one. I know they're kind of not that rare because things are broked. But that has to die. We'll check the other lake. I'm sure we can find more Ibex. 
you liked and subscribed, I appreciate you, dude. Mouflon running across there. Mouflon. Hoopla! Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's two Ibex. Wait. Was that? Was that just my binoculars having smudgies? I think it was. DK? No, TK. Uh, other, other guy. <laughs> Wonder if New Zealand will be next. I was really convinced this uh, had a, a good chance to be New Zealand when they said there was a new map in the works, but it appears as if it's Spain. So maybe next. Mouflon are the coolest looking species. I agree completely. I like the Ibex. They're cool. But the Mouflon have like a... They're just completely different. Look at that. Ugh. Sexy. Again. Uh, apparently the rare spawns are a little bit broke in the beta. Hopefully that will be... Hey, your money shows up up here. That's really good. Hopefully that will be changed by full release because that was a, a big knock on the Yukon that made it less fun. Actual rares were killed so easily. But yeah. Um, cool to see what they look like anyway, you know. I hear sounds, but I think it's up on the mountain. I'm stuck. Got home from hunting. Missouri's antlerless portion is to this weekend. Oh, nice. Do you have any luck? I was out this morning and passed on a... I mean, a legal buck, but he was a small one. So we got a couple of Ibex moving through here. That's a male. Wow. Nothing very big. I'll let him go. See if there's any bigger ones. I believe there are from the tracks I'm seeing. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Did you guys see that jump animation he did to get up there? That's pretty neat. Alright, so he's not that big, but he is a, a male. Hopefully I placed that right. I was looking for long liver. I don't know if I got it. I'd like to get a four, because I have at least a four. I, ha I do have a four of every other species, like, saved, ready for potential multi-mounts or things, but we might just go with that, because he still looks pretty decent. And I don't want to, like, get all the good stuff right away. Would be quite happy to spend the weekend actually looking for other quality animals. Like, I hear that... Oh, that's probably what I hear. Yeah. In my opinion, that's gotta be changed. I'm cool with hearing them further away, but not as loud as you can hear them. That's a little bit over the top. Had a 10 point walk past 15 yards. Should have had my bow, not my Winchester. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is that antlerless only? I've had that one happen. Unless there's anybody over at the other end here. Eh. How am I playing on it already? This is like a content creator weekend, so EW has allowed a good number of creators, as far as I know, to uh, kind of showcase the map. Try to get it out to a bigger audience. Hopefully you get more people interested in the game. Yeah, those look cool. A big one of those is going to look really, really awesome as well. I'll tag some. I'll scoot down here and see... Maybe if there's any drinking at the other end. That's a rock. Uh, but only because, like I said, I want to 
try to save some some good stuff for like videos to do over the weekend. I think we'll leave it at that. I gotta actually create a lodge here. I don't have the DLC. That's a big sad. Hmm. Well, all right. <laughs> I can I do that right now? Hold on. I just uh, put that up. <laughs> don't worry. I'm on it. I hope things are gonna like me here. They should. Don't worry. Uh, steam is very slow. What's the biggest animal on the map? As far as, like, body size, it would be... Red deer, I guess? Alright, let's try it this way. Don't mind me. Just, uh... <laughs> trying to get the lodge. I was sure that I had that, but I guess it's because it's a different account thing. That would be... Reasons. Um... One more thing. Don't, uh, don't worry about it. Eat. Agree. <laughs> Just take forever. Do we have it? I keep just getting like uh, working and then nothing happens. So it might not decide to cooperate. I mean, if not, I'll get one for the videos over the weekend. Still just working, apparently. Well, I'm gonna run around here a little bit. What's he doing? I was trying to get the trophy lodge. There's a Ibex up there. Because uh, I don't have the trophy lodge on this, like, account thing for the content creator beta. And unfortunately, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it for this stream. I totally didn't even think of that. So there was a drink stone up here for him. Maybe we'll see if we can get one more. If, uh... If the Lodge decides to cooperate in the process, all the better. There's a big male level two. I know I saw a better one going up the hill. I think it worked. I think we have a lodge to go to. That was the one I seen. You gonna tell me that missed? What? That one didn't. Might have got him too high though. That's the one. <laughs> He's not much better than the other one. No mas pantalones. I agree. Although I am wearing pants. Did I get any deer this year? I've gotten two does. Still got a weaker rifle to try to knock down a buck. Uh, not very likely to be honest. I'd say tomorrow's my best chance. And yeah, shot him in the vertebrae. Well, anyway. I think I can maybe... Still says my lodge. Hold on. I gotta restart the game to do that. That makes sense. Let me throw this screen up one more time. Palo's gonna show you her lodge. All right, that works. <laughs> you thought that level three Ibex was a hare. It definitely was. Same thing.
third and a half and a half. Me too. Why you no work? Okay. We're making it happen whether it likes to or not. Me and my dad got a thousand score Cape Buffalo a few nights ago. That's really cool. Good stuff. I want a bigger, uh, bigger Cape Buffalo. I only have the small horns in my new lodge. This map does have a story. Yeah, I turned the mission system off so I didn't spoil it for anybody. There we go. Done it. Done did it. Yeah, no kidding, Aaron. I know what you mean. Okay. Gotta go to Trophy Manager. And taxtermize all these. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. I see what happened. Uh, that one. I'm not going to worry about that female albino mouflon. So, as for multi mounts, I assume the new ones are at the bottom. No. The Grand Slam, that is all four species of Ibex. Head first is two of them fighting. I don't know if there's any more. Fangs out, there's wolves chasing a mouflon. That looks really cool, and that's a big one. That's probably what a diamond looks like. That's really cool. I feel like there's more in here because the list seems so big. Maybe not. Anyway, we're going to throw this together. Which one scored 915? The Ronda did. Thank you for pop-up message. <laughs> okay, that's a beta thing, I assume. And throw the glance, the gland, the grand slam here. So they're kind of sideways, which is an interesting way to do that. Whoa. Whoa. There's some pretty cool poses, and I like they chose, again, I still don't know how to say it, Bethides or whatever, like the biggest one for the top. It's really nifty. And I think the only proper way of doing this would be placing our two fellow friends. That's really neat. So yeah, um, I think we are going to wrap up here. There will be more videos on this map throughout the weekend. Uh, not only on my channel, but on some of the other creators that are in this beta. And again, huge thanks to UW for actually allowing us to do this. It's really cool stuff. Hopefully it helps you guys out in your decisions to buy the map. Or to, you know, check it out on multiplayer first. All that good stuff. And the last thing I'll say... The Tarsal Gland Slam, me too. The last thing I'll say is... Make sure you join the Discord, because there's some pretty good stuff going on going down in there. Uh, where you may have potential to get yourself one of the uh, DLCs. So, uh, if somebody can do that Discord command in the chat, you guys can join there. Um, and just for if YouTube wants to have legal reasons, YouTube has nothing to do with any potential giveaways that may or may not be in the Discord. I don't know what they want you to say. I just try to not get smoked. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap this up. I think Zaggy or TK or maybe both are live over on Twitch if you want to see more of the map. But, uh, yeah, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Lots of variety. The coats. Everything looks really good. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you, I guess, in tomorrow's video. Bye!